What up, what up, what up? You already know it's Dev Nasty, aka Dangerous Dev Nasty, and I got an important announcement for y'all before we start the show today. Y'all been asking for this for two years, and it is finally here, yo. The Devin Wade Show Live. We will be live in the building, Dubai Nightclub, Camden, New Jersey, on September the 18th. It's a Sunday from 4 to 8 p.m., so it's a daytime joint, you know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna be in the building. Uh, well, let's get D gonna be in the building. Puerto Rico's gonna be in the building. The Nasty Girls is gonna be in the building, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be mad twerky, twerk break, all that type of shit. Make sure that y'all come out and come rock with us, you know what I'm saying? Y'all been asking for this for a while, you know what I mean? A full while, mm. by popular demand, highly requested. Listen, shout to the people that put it together. We coming together, it's on the 18th, Sunday. Come out, vibe with us, man. It's gonna be live. Listen, it's the first time. First home stop, we stop at home. It's gonna be great, y'all. It's gonna be great. So make sure that y'all go to eventbrite.com to go get your tickets now. So all you gotta do is go in there and put the search bar, the Devin Wade Show. You know what I'm saying? September 18th, Dubai Nightclub. We gonna see y'all there, y'all. Peace. This episode of the Devin Way Show is brought to you by Ace the Engineer, the only other audio engineer I trust to mix the Devin Way Show. If you want your stuff to sound professional, make sure to hit up Ace the Engineer, unless he's with like Beyonce or Patti LaBelle or some shit like that at the moment. Follow Ace the Engineer on IG at Ace the Engineer. What up, what up, what up? Welcome to an all new episode of the Devin Way Show. I am your host, Dev Nasty, <clears throat> aka Dangerous Dev Nasty, aka oh. Choke Your Mama, aka Choke Your Papa, and the person gargling back there. We're going to get to them in a <laughs> like second. Cause, fucking my ass up, man. Yeah, Come she on. fucking it up. That sounded like she was gurgling nut. <laughs> That's what it sounded like, for real, for real. You, we've all heard that right. sound, and that's what, and that's what that sounded like. Um, you know, what you don't, what y'all don't get to see is when the theme song is going on. There's a lot of dancing and everything like that. Porter was yeah. humping. No, uh, that's a dance. That's a new dance. What's that? Like that's no, how it's, the girl be on top of you while you show us. No, what I was, was actually doing the pretzel. <laughs> I, I was going to tell y'all, but see, since Dev, now I got to bring it in a weird way. <laughs> because my new name is Pretzel P, right? Because I got a new dance called the Pretzel. And what's and, and what's this dance? <laughs> well, you can you got the beat back on? No, 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 no. He said he can't uh, do it. He said he can't do it. Something like a. It's something like. It's something it it like just a, looks like a Porter Rich sex scene no, it, type situation. <laughs> no, Where it, it looks, no, it looks like when like we have you in like what's called the Pretzel, oh, okay. where we twist your legs back. And we actually have you like by your waist and your legs back. is back. We almost got you folded like a folding chair. And is my stomach down in this situation or is my ass down? Your legs are up here. I don't know where your stomach at, but I know my <laughs> man is in there. Yo, yeah, he knows. <laughs> hey, listen, but listen, <laughs> listen. Of course, that's your boy Porter Rich. <laughs> 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 I got you. Yo. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, you got him with a gargle? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Take okay, one for the team. Okay, okay, okay boom. Boom. And listen, and to the right of Puerto Rich. Here she go, Leslie. You already know the question. He said, I don't got any um, gargles, any, any pss. Any, none no, of that. It's you might have me. a little pss, because water makes a noise. No, it, water is like. It's silent. Black. Oh. Or it's like. It's like a. It's like a. It's like a. It's like a <laughs> oh, a blip. Okay. okay. You know, uh, it's like a. You already know. <laughs> the best female dressing out here. Oh. You already know. Tell them. Well, let's get Listen, deal. Hold on, Dev, because I see you looking at the cards. Hold on. Can we introduce the nasty girls? Right. Well, you about right. to interrupt probably Man, with some you bullshit. Grab cards. You about right. to probably, probably, uh, no, 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 probably come no. with some bullshit. Let's introduce our beautiful, sexy, super gorgeous nasties. Right. I'm going to keep it short. It's your girl, Sin Titty. <laughs> In the place to be. Sin titties. We Sin. changed it. It used to be city, but she got two new breasts. Listen, y'all gonna amazing. hear about you all y'all gonna hear about these titties for the next six no, months. No, that's just my new name. Y'all gonna oh, hear yeah. about them until they drop. And okay, you know, right. they here. And oh, they here to stay. They okay. here to stay. So, you know. All right, and of course we got the mixed mud with, with the, the big, big bug. Bu <laughs> 
<laughs> yo, butt literally. Yo, yo, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Monica, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Monica, we be giving you the opportunity, <laughs> right? To, to do your little, you know what? I'm calling and people. That's like, that's like a that's no. like a call. No, the year. no, no. Listen, this is the thing. Monica oh, is so white, and she keep fucking with these. That's not what she, that's she, not keeps fu- she keep fucking with these Hood street niggas, niggas right? Hood and niggas. next thing you know, she trying to throw out a year. She yerp. can't throw the year. She can't throw out the year. She can't throw out the year. There's a P there. Listen, look, no, yes. sometimes yes. there's a P, and the sometimes yerp. it's the year. She can't do the year. She says niggas. She was like, she was like, I just met a new nigga. <laughs> I did just mean to say fucking, <laughs> fucking my ad libs all up. Go on, and, go on. And, and listen, listen, y'all know we call it a mixed mutt with the big bud. The mm. big bud been in the way all day today. Yeah, like yeah. move, like get out the way. Yeah. Now, what was you about to cut me off about Porter? No, listen, because I was just watching. Um, before I came here, I was watching a few movies right mm. earlier today, just glancing at a few classics. You, and you shit. was watching that while you was working. Noted. Uh, damn, <laughs> Donnie Brasco, the rat. <laughs> Big, uh, nah, but anyway, it's all good. But um, uh, listen, so I wanted to ask y'all, right? Because I was watching, I think it was Menace that I was watching, right? And everybody watched Menace to Society, right? Good movie. Good movie. And I wanted to bring to the table a scenario from kind of like Menace to Society and bring it to the real table and ask my friends, okay. right? In Menace to Society, Kane was a, a a young bull to the old head. The I love old, Kane. Right. And mm. the old head so ended up getting locked up. Hold on, don't disrespect the old head Purnell, nigga. Yeah, yeah per, oh, LG Bobby Johnson. Uh, bro, Wait, that's no, a that's different a, I know, movie. I know, but we all really, he really, you know, that's just where that's a colors. lot of people we know him watching, from. We're not talking about colors. We're well, talking let me about not, menace to society. Right, and we've seen him in plenty of stuff, so let me not disrespect that man. Hey. But anyway, he goes to jail. Kane is his young bull. And Kane is left kind of like to help out his son's, his ex girl, his girlfriend and her son, her and his son. Technically, they were broken up. But go ahead. Yeah. But uh, well, we don't, we ain't gonna hold get on, into, where are you going wait, with this? Hold on, wait, yeah. I want to ask y'all. Uh, we ain't even going to get into broken up and all that. Let's just say they was together, if, whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If your best friend goes to jail, catches a body tomorrow, right? And you single in your life, right? We're changing the scenario. Mm-hmm. Put this all in your head. You're single. Your best friend catches a body. Mm-hmm. He rocks three, four people. All right, we know. Oh, Get right. He's never coming home again. Mm-hmm. He feels like you like the closest man that he knew that really like is like on the type times he be on. Y'all got it. You know, that's why you his homie. You know? Okay. And he wants you... If his girl got to be with somebody and if his son got to be around somebody else, he would, because he's never coming home again. All right, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's time out. Let's, let's get to the story. Would you basically, be able to be that friend? Basically, Purnell wanted Kane to deal with, what was Jada's name in the movie? It's crazy that it was Jada Pinky. <laughs> yeah. I know, but anyway, he wanted remember. he wanted Kane to deal with her because she fucked with him. It wasn't because he knew he was a thorough young boy or whatever. No, he could tell how much he she fucked with him because of how she spoke about him. No, no I, listen, so you're, you're, right, right, you're right, you're There's right, you're right, and you're wrong. You're right, and you're wrong. How am I wrong? Because he definitely, he definitely like okay. He probably knew that Jada was slightly. You know, taken by the young boy and was slightly like mesmerized by the young boy into him a little bit. But he also knew that Kane was a super good nigga. No, no, but no, no. Hold, yes, on, hold on, yes. hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow down, let me build. Kane's character in Menace, he was a good dude coming from a good household mm-hmm, that was caught mm-hmm. up around his his ho- other homies who was treacherous and had been subjected to the neighborhood that they was from. Fact. But he also knew that Kane was a good guy. He wanted a good guy to be around his son and his girl that he could no longer ever be around. Yeah, but I think that that was a, so. So I don't know what we're talking about here, really. But I know that uh, I do agree with what Wally's saying is the fact that what he saw was that I think that part was secondary. Yeah, I think what he saw was that Kane and, and we're going to get to the show. We ain't start the show yet. But he saw that Kane and her, he knew that they loved each other mm-hmm. and that he might not be moving on because of his loyalty to him. Right. That he wasn't going to leave the hood because of the loyalty to him. So he said Kane is okay 
leave with right. my girl yep. and y'all do y'all thing. Yep. Cause also what Porter said, I know that you a good dude. Right. So that was like secondary. The main thing was don't don't leave the hood because of some loyalty right. to me. Because obviously he don't want him to be locked up in the same exactly. way he was. Well, I guess what you're asking Porter is, would I do that? No. My answer, I'm gonna tell you, the answer is no. Right. Because it's plenty. I don't, I'm I'm not. Him wanting me to date his girl don't have nothing to do with my feelings for his girl. But no, but hold uh, on, but hold on, uh, right? Uh, what about if you do feel, because Kane did, did feel for her though. Right. So what about if you do kind of feel for her a little bit, you you in there, you helping young ball out, like what Richie was saying, you know what I'm saying? You super thorough, you coming in, you dropping bread, like you kind of like that man and you starting to really like... Vibe with her. And you know he can never be back with her again. Yeah, so... She I, needs somebody. So this is the thing. I don't feel like it's necessarily a violation, obviously, if right. everybody involved in that is... is you know it's, what I mean? It's a line, yeah. But I don't think that's for me. Got you. You okay. know, my, I don't like the idea that I'm there because homie mm -hmm. is in that bad situation. I could still be there for them so without that being... you would have never being, took it that far then. Yeah, I don't even see myself being all in love with. I can't have my own fucking girl that I'm what too about busy you with. Though? Well, yeah, I mean, you no, got to keep that in mind. We no, I, no, 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 no. I understand what, what I'm saying is I would. That wouldn't even be my option if you was looking at in his situation. He was putting all his love energy kind of into that. Yeah. The, the other chicks he was dealing he was with was hating. random fucking yeah, was like bird bitches. He wasn't even like trying to fuck with no mm -hmm. other girl. So I would never be in that situation. So I'm saying that's not for me, but I'm not against somebody else right. if they all come no, to listen, that agreement. I, I, I actually probably would say the same. Mm -hmm. I, I agree with y'all. I think mm -hmm. y'all made marvelous points. And I think we both right. You know, I can I can agree that I think we both right because I definitely felt like he 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 had to feel like like not because he wouldn't have did that with old dog. Nah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. He wouldn't have did that with old dog. It would have been like Oh, hell no. Right, like, right. Don't have my boy around him. Like, mm -hmm. so that's all I'm trying to say is that he knew baby boy was solid too. But I but definitely... would you do but, that though? Me personally, I don't think it's really... I don't think I would be able to do it. Honestly, mm -hmm. I don't think I would be able to do it. Um, And it's just me, just how I'm cut. I mean, it's hard. It's hard. It's like getting into details about me and how I'm designed. And that's a long story. Like, um, y'all know I'm different. Like, I just... I just don't operate on certain shit. Like Dev said, Dev made a good point. There's plenty of guys out here. Yeah. It's millions of people out here. You know what you, I mean? So You know what's you funny? Can, I think when it comes with women, this happens with women a lot. So I'm going to give you an example. This is this is one example, but what happens is like, for example, if somebody passed away, right? Mm -hmm. Say if your, your, your son's father passed away, and this is probably a little extreme situation but it's always the homie that comes in he want to look out and then eventually right. be trying to like holler so and then even vice versa even in that situation i never really seen a jail situation where a guy's locked up and he give another guy an okay to do so like that shit is crazy to me but yo hold on hold on what the fuck is going on where porter is over here what is ha what is happening <laughs> our show you know that this show is is is, is they don't, the r word <laughs> Artic. Uh, what the hell is going on? Mo is Monica back here showing her butt? <laughs> Monica back there putting dildos in her ass. <laughs> so, the show. so Monica's putting dildos in her ass during the show. <laughs> I, I knew something. She loved, she loved, me she, she messing with me like, and I was Elle. like, said, watch Porter. Yeah, she know we both over here and you we really watch it. Dildos in the show? No, hot. it's a whole oh, thing. Hot. It's first, a whole, first she oh. put it in my butt, and then she goes, watch it's Porter. Even freak, it's <laughs> freakier than a dildo. It's actually an ice-cold water bottle that uh, she's putting in between like, her... Uh, the, oh, oh, yo, dude. And hey, yo. Bottle. Hey, yo. And it looks like a quarter water. Hey, yo. Because the <laughs> ass is eating it. Hey, yo. Her ass is eating hey, the yo. bottle. Hey, Let yo. me come sit down. It looked like the small waters because her ass swallowed the whole bottle. Hey, yo, check this out, man. We're going to auction off that bottle of water to one of your yo. nasty-ass fans that might want to lick the bottle. Or something like that. They you feel definitely what I'm saying? Will. They will auction that joint off. That's she, a good joint. She gonna That's she gonna sign job. it. Y'all get to sniff it, beat off with it, do y'all thing. You know what I'm saying? You, what, listen, mm -hmm. not to cut because mm -hmm. we gonna get back. No, crazy go ahead. Stuff. But would you be able, like, on a female type tip, right? Uh -huh. With a female type situation, I know it's rare for like a female to kind of like go to jail mm -hmm. for like life or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. But if your friend just told you, Wally, 
you know, God forbid if something ever happened to me. And you know she don't have like a whole lot of other people. She yeah. was a very private person. And she tells you, Wally, just make sure my, my baby, you know, um, my, I don't know how it was. Because I, I, I don't think nobody would just I tell you straight me, up. I think I would want to, I would really want us to put it in her position, like vice versa, like meaning like mm-hmm. me being mm-hmm. her in the movie rather than like okay. me being Kane. Mm-hmm. Like if I was her, would I like deal with the friend? Deal mm-hmm. with the friend. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like that. Um, That's a hard question. And the reason why it's not about like dealing with the friend because you can or whatever. I think it's just more of like if there's a connection built, mm-hmm. if the energy's there, I can't stop how I feel about somebody or how I, you know, feel around that person. So, like, if that feeling is there and that feeling is real and my baby dad gives the okay and this is what we're doing, I'll do that. You know, I'm going to tell you why that would be crazy. Because if something happened crazy and that nigga's sentence get commuted, he get a pardon or something like that, or he pull off a... A uh, uh, shout out to Andre, Andre. Norman. <laughs> shout out to Andre Norman, and he was to get himself out of prison. How does that work? Because a lot yeah, of like, niggas, do you get him back? They gonna show up and be back? like, "Yo, I no. want my family back." Cause it's simple. You set him up. <laughs> no, that's the <laughs> no, That's why they on some. Uh, that's some old shit on power where they sent my fucking cane in. I'm only him. playing. I'm only playing board eight and shit like that. But if he was to come home, I mean. He already made the decision. He already, yeah. So it would be something he that he kind of like got to live No, with. but this, the thing is, he made that decision and Porter kept saying over and over again, he not getting out. But he, he made it in out. that right in that mindset that he wasn't going to get out. And so. now he out because he was like, he I, wanted my, I wanted my family taken care of and now I'm back and I'm going to take care of him. But you know, she didn't fuck with him like that. Yeah, in that situation. And yeah, in that situation, she really didn't fuck with him. Like, like she was even annoyed going to visit The craziest him part was- is she was mad at him for the shit he was doing, going to jail, but Kane was out popping niggas and but robbing she, niggas. But she it, felt like she could get to him and yeah. be like, nah. Kane had the potential to be changing. Yeah, she hold on, knew it. But they're crazy. But still, no matter what, it's funny how people like judge people when they get caught based off of the nigga that didn't get caught. They did the same shit. Right, but she was trying to get him out of that. She would constantly have talks with him like, yo, mm. don't be like, because she felt as though mm. he was doing that because of him. Like, Kinda. oh, I got to like, you know, have this reputation for my old head. I got to, like, hold it down. And she like, no, you don't need to do that. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like she thought she could get that opportunity to help him to, that's why she wanted him to move with her to She Atlanta. saw, she almost saw him. I get what Wally's saying, because she almost saw him as, like, the perfect Purnell. Yeah. Like, she could have made him the better Purnell. Right. Yeah. Like, you come from this cloth, I get it, and that was your old head, but... Cause he he just you know he come from he came from a church family. Yeah, he he came from. A, don't, he even said, "Don't be like me." Yeah, he said it. He came from a church household. We yeah. remember the movie, right? So it, it was different. And well, I his it. his grandparents, you know, his mom and dad. You know, his mom was a heroin addict. The dad was like, yeah, he saw his dad yeah. shoot people yeah. during yeah. card games, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He was already like nine, ten. And that was and, and no lie, that's still one of the best scenes in best, movies. Yeah, the beginning. Ever. Yeah. The beginning, that was probably when, it, when he had Said, that what you think? On. What you think, you Ron Brown motherfucker? Like, I forgot that John went, but it was crazy. He said, what? He had that cigarette in his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was Samuel L. Nigga got more, uh, but that ain't what the show was about. Uh, <laughs> I'm not doing it, uh, period, point blank. But we got to talk about this. That was huh? good. We have a lot of, we have a lot of uh, discussions on finances, relationship, who pays the bills, da, 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 all this type of stuff. But the one thing we never talk about is at what point does that come in? When you meet a new person, Wally, when you meet a new person, Sin, and y'all dealing with each other, when is the right time for y'all to even discuss finances? When mm. does it happen? I think it happens when, depending on what you're building on, right? When you're dating someone and y'all kind of building into something where y'all about to be serious and it's about to be a situation where, like, you know, you're like, oh, okay, like, I can see, you know, we about to be in a relationship. I think that's when, before you even say we about to be in a relationship, but y'all know that's what y'all working towards, mm. I feel like y'all need to have a conversation on where y'all stand in regards to, like, you know, expectations, Mm. Um, and I have those conversations, mm. but again, I'm 33 years old. Like I've experienced, I'm not going to say like I'm the most experienced person, but like I've learned from my past experiences that you need to have these conversations up front, especially for a woman like me who's independent that holds it down mm. on her own already. So what you're coming into is a situation where it's like, it's already established. So mm. it's like, okay, 
say if this person, you know, has his own crib, are you going to move in with me? Am I going to move in with you? Are we going to, you know, those type of questions you, you kind of need to have and be like, okay, so what does that look like? So if you move in with me, I'm going to want you to pay the rent and, you know, I'll pay everything else. Or what, what do you feel like is a happy medium? It's just like kind of like being honest and raw right. and so however you, they feel. So real quick, if you said, you, you just talked about how, you know, as a woman, you held it down on your own. You did all of this. What if he said, that's one of the things that's most attractive about you. So since you hold it down on your own. Mm -hmm. and Keep you, holding it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 I like the fact that you hold it down on your own. Mm -hmm. So why would I move into your crib and pay your rent if one of the things that I think is dope about you is you hold it down on your own? I'd How be like, that's great, but you're not living here for free. Okay, <laughs> so, so, okay, so there's a difference between uh, living there for free and saying, I'll come in and I'll take care of half that or whatever the case may yeah. be. Uh, you, you, I, you you understand what I'm getting yeah, at? Yeah. But but the discussion's not about that because we could beat a dead horse. It's yeah. not really about that part. Mm -hmm. It's when do you get into, okay. when's appropriate for you to uh to get into the details of that because if you if you I just said before Deb, I, I think, think it's before that relation before you jump into that relationship mm -hmm. I think there's a couple different stages okay. of conversation so I feel like you kind of before you start dating somebody you kind of already know what you guys both do you kind of already have an idea of what kind of job you do and what the income looks like based on the job Do you think that? Uh, I do like if I if I say I work in retail then mm -hmm. you kind of have an idea I'm not making six figures. Okay. I mean, you could. I mean, you could, depending on your status. Yeah, but most likely, no. Yeah, yeah, most yeah likely no, no. you're not. So you kind of already have an idea based on, like, what their job is. But when you guys start dating, okay, I do this. You are in, say you're in graphic design or mm -hmm. whatever. Or say you have a job that's more based off of commissions. Mm -hmm. So you do art and, you know, all your income comes in based on what you sell. So you kind of have an idea of what you and your partner make. So you're going to have an idea of what sacrifices you're going to have to make. So like, say if he doesn't have a steady income coming in, then maybe I have a steady income coming in and I'll cover the rent and then you'll cover the utilities because your income's not coming in as rapidly as mine is. And that's still helping. So that's one. Two, I feel like the second stage of conversation when it comes into finances is when you're getting married. Um, I, Girl, that's you gotta do that before. No, that's why I'm saying it comes in different stages. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You, okay, you, okay, you know the you. stage when you first start dating. Mm -hmm. That's a conversation you need right, to have. I get, I get what you're saying. But like it's is. almost like it's almost like it goes to another to level, level yes, of the conversation. Because you guys, you guys are building together, constantly growing together. So right. finances are going to change. So it's going right. to have to be a conversation that you guys are going to have to talk about. All the time, yeah. throughout different. I always say quarterly is a good time. Like, I, I, okay, I, Mrs. Streets. I, actually, I, actually, <laughs> yo, stop, stop, stop. I mean, no, because I've been in a relationship where I I split the bills with somebody, but it was like fifty fifty when when rent was due. Say rent was eleven hundred. What's half of eleven hundred? I was paying that. You got your half. You got your money order. I got my money order. Right. Then in my relationship now, um, even when I moved in with Andrew, it was okay. So are you going to pay half the bills? Initially, that was. The plan and then I got pregnant and then plans have changed and that kind of took my role into a different role now mm -hmm. we're not now we're not building together in an ideal way now he's like you save up do you we have a baby on the way I got this but if I ask you for something you're gonna help me right and that's kind of like the agreement that we have so Depending on different stances and situations in your life, I feel like it's always good to have that conversation and revamp. Because even now, I don't work. And I told him if I, he asked me the other day, if you go back to work, are you going to help out with something? Yes. If you ask me for anything, of course I will give it to you. It's those got, healthy conversations, though. Yeah. I got mixed feelings about it, right? Like, I feel like if, if, if I wasn't really thinking, I would say right from the rip. Let's just... You know, what do you do? Because I guess that's I kind mean, of like natural... that's kind of like the question. That's yeah. the natural question, right? What do you do for a living, right? Um, I would kind of like want to say right from the rip, right? And the reason why I say that is because, like, you know, once we get that out there, it's like we can go ahead and clear the air on just if we're okay with one another as far as lifestyles go, goals and goal oriented and work 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 field type shit whatever we could clear the air with that but at the same time i feel like it's almost like a tool for finesse where when you tell people mm -hmm. what you mm -hmm. do for a living it's like if the person is that type of person it's like almost like 
you because this is why a lot of people who for real for real wealthy they hide their wealth you got guys that run around and you'll never know they in a honda accord and that's mm-hmm. why they keep when they in target ones. getting their dispensaries you never know this thing is a billionaire wow. right like and they don't want to be recognized as that because they know that they attract the vultures mm-hmm. for wealth for money so you know what's crazy because opposite is opposite for women right like me, women if we dress like that and we're billionaires or whatever like we won't get hit on we won't get you know whatever like yeah. but it's like oh she a bum you know whatever whatever mm-hmm. but i think for women we got to carry ourselves in a certain way i feel like y'all look at us in a different light not more of like y'all really won't care if we're a billionaire or a millionaire to some degree like for the most part y'all wouldn't really care i think Y'all look at things in regards to like, okay, you go to her crib, it's her mattress on the floor. Yeah, yeah, Does yeah. Does she yeah. have a bed yeah. frame? Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, where yeah. her crib and, is. And like- how thick is she if that mattress <laughs> on the floor? <laughs> and how pretty and thick is she? Because we might yeah. give a pass. Right, right, right. We she might, pass. she might have broke the bed frame and it might have hit the curb, and now her mattress is on the floor. Listen, <laughs> if you, if yes, you that bad, means somebody if you, broke listen, that shit. No, if, you, too thick. if you bad and struggling. Niggas are coming through. And you cool, you ain't a whole evil that's, that's gonna make them not even want to elevate because niggas are taking care of them. There's right. no need. But, but, There's no need to even want to work hard because I'm gonna be taking care of regardless. I'm not thinking about it from a vulture standpoint. You're just thinking about it. I'm regular. trying because cause this I wanna I wanna I wanna jump off of what y'all said. Mm-hmm. How does you finding out a dude's a graphic artist tell you how much he make? No, it doesn't tell me how much he makes, but it definitely tells me how often and how steady and how reliable his income. Yeah, but that, but still, when you so when I say when you ask about finances, now, it don't matter if he only get a job every two months or twice a month. If he make, he might end up making thirty racks a month off of the type of jobs that he do. You know how so, I and if that and that's if that's how it is, and that's mad dope for him, and then we would discuss that, and it would. Be- so this <laughs> is the thing is. Who discusses that? Because that sound good is, but when is a broad going to sit there on some first dates with a nigga talking about how much money you make now, a year? You're not well, going to ask him, ask him how date. much, though. These are the things. I'm a question queen. So mm. I'm going to ask where you live, mm. you know, and then at some point, you're not going to ask that first day, like, how much money you make. You never, I don't think that's even appropriate for anybody to ask how much they make right in the first date. I'm uh, saying. So not in the first date, but the question is when I want to get the answer. So you want when to, is the time where niggas start talking about they the, how their until finances I'm work? Until I'm in, in, in a little bit more into we're about to be in a relationship. So now. you think before a nigga's your girlfriend, mm-hmm. he going to explain to you how much money he before making? Before a nigga's your girlfriend. I, know, I, I, mean, I mean, excuse me. Before I know what you I, meant. I, 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 I know what you meant. Oh, yeah. I know what before, you meant. Before, before, before you're a nigga's girlfriend. Mm-hmm. He is going to start telling a chick that he go on dates with. That's not his well, girl. No, but I you got to think, think about I'm No, I'm saying he will. Because let me tell you something. You'd be I'm surprised. Dating, I'm dating someone now. Mm-hmm. We've been dating since fucking de- December. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the homie. I, yeah, shout out to him. You know, I know a lot, but we have conversations as adults. Mm-hmm. But we spend a lot of time together. Mm-hmm. That's so different. it's like when you building and spending that lot of time with that person, you're going to start to really under... You're going to feel comfortable enough to have those conversations. I'm going to share information. He's going to share information. And at this point, I mean, we... Since December, that's a decent amount of time in that we're not in a relationship, but we build in. But now I know we know where we stand. And I'm like, if we do move in together, what does that look like? So mm. it's the situation right. before the relationship, which is where you're finding out all this information. Right. Because then at that point, you're going to have to come down and sit down and be like, listen, all right, we about to go into this relationship. You give the person an option to even stay or go. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, are you going to be able, and they got to be honest, are you going to be able to hold it down? Are you going to be able, what do you want? You want to do 50-50? Okay, then that works, but then I want you to do this. A like, lot of a lot of guys told me, tell me what they make in a year on the first date. Mm. Oh. So, so I, I can't really relate to like, when do I find out? They they do it in like a obvious, you know, He's flaunting see, way. But so, is oh, that a tool oh, for finesse? No, no, no. So, Wally just said they showing off. So, I just so, went on it. Yeah, that's right. what it, no, any nigga. See, this is, and this is where I want to go into what Porter said and, and it got to do with what she mm-hmm. said. Okay. Any nigga that tells you what he makes on a first date is telling you that so that he could get in your brain, right. you could jump on his dick, mm-hmm. and he could get to the pussy right. faster. Right. That is just not a, a, I don't give a fuck if a nigga make 50000 or, or $8 million. Mm-hmm. 
Right. You do Period. not just bring up to a, a, a to a chick on a date. I'm how much? And I know niggas. My, some of my niggas they do that. Yeah. It's for a reason. Mm-hmm. And back to what Porter said, that's where it sets up for the finesse. Mm-hmm. So if you just dating a guy, Wally, and that's not your boyfriend, mm-hmm. and he tells you what you're saying, Bull told you what he make, right? You the type of woman that he's safe doing that. But a lot of men not going to tell a woman that didn't even commit to being a girl what they make because that might that thing might be the catalyst that makes her make the choice because not many women that's kind of fucking with you mm-hmm. and you want a date and then you finally tell them yeah. I make 3.5 million dollars a year guys that's to where they going to make the, the choice right mm-hmm. then I'm going to be with him so yeah. a, a nigga don't a nigga going to want you to already say you my girl before I tell you what dollar amount you're going to benefit with, mm-hmm. one, you know, from fucking with me. I can, I can understand why you would feel that way because there are women out here that would do that, right? That would that would pick the guy that makes the $3.5 million. I think majority. I was going to ask you, I, I, like, I, what I, the I, percentage I, was because I... I wouldn't say... Well, the majority probably, but... Dealing with women, dealing with men that made millions or mm. like been hit those M's mm. before, mm. that shit come with bullshit. Mm. So I know what that come mm. with. So I'm not gonna pick the 3.5 million nigga. So I'm, you off know, the so, bat, you're so, gonna so, so off the bat because it's like at that point I need to. That's why I'm like with mm. him. Mm. I gotta get to know you. Mm. I know you make a couple of dollars. I I already know just based off of the industry he's in. Yeah. So now I, I kind of already see. But it. how you know the difference is if the nigga told you I know that I'm in this industry. Mm-hmm. And I know that it looked like this, that, the third. But since we being honest with each other, Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it real. Man, this shit, a lot of smoke and mirrors. I drive company cars. I do all of this. At the end of the day, I make $37,000 a year. It's just that my job come with perks. So I fly on these planes. Mm -hmm. I get to drive these cars. And I don't have that. They pay my rent. Mm-hmm. So my money that I get, because that's how a lot of these jobs are. No, for sure. The money that I get, I could do what I want with because I drive a company car. I do all of that. That definitely, because we talk about finances, affects how you see your life with this person. If you yeah. say so, basically, if I fuck with him, upon him losing this job, mm-hmm. he don't got nothing because all his, that's where his cars get taken back and everything. And but then, then that's when you ask. Mm-hmm. But that's, that's crazy. when you ask mm-hmm. because... You got to kind of know what else they want to do. If that person, you talking to them like, okay, I'm doing this, right? I make this amount of money. Mm-hmm. But I'm do, I want to do X, Y, and Z. This is what I'm working towards. If you're not working towards nothing else outside of that and mm-hmm. that's your situation, mm-hmm. that's not going to work for me. And it's mm-hmm. not about the amount that he's making a year. Mm-hmm. It's about the contentment that you have in that situation. So, so what if the person is like, yeah, I do this because I work for this label. Mm-hmm. Now, if I get to this next position, they're going to move me up to 65. If I get to the next position after that, I make 85. Right. I'm trying to get all the way to the joint that pay 300. Right. Right. But he don't got no real control over that. He just putting in the work. Right. right. So if it's a, if, if something could make you fall back based off of the fact that, wait a minute, homie only make 37. Then a person can't tell me that him saying I make 10 M's a year at the gig isn't a catalyst if you already like them. Mm-hmm. You already fuck with them. You Very think appealing. You dope, if you think it's, do- it's already dope, it's kind of yeah. like, I'll kind of so skip, skip a couple steps right. to bust that move based off of the fact that I already like him, he dope, whatever. But on top of that, I he think, got 10 M's a year. I think... And I think, I think, I think, I think, I think in those situations, huh? both parties get exactly what they looking for, mm. right? Because okay. the female, let's say it's a female mm. that jumps on it, and when she hears the ten, the ten, the ten mm-hmm. M, that really pushes her over the edge to jump on it, right? right. And she says, "Oh, I'm with this nigga. Mm. It's on." She's wrong for that because you want some materialistic shit. That's the only reason why you really hopping. The dude. He set himself up, right? Because you're frauding. Right. Mm-hmm. So when she really finds out what you really make and who you really are, and she does decide, even though she was wrong too. But why is and, he frauding? Because he really, he if he was talking like he made 10 M's. Well, he do. 
I thought you said he really only made 37. No, I'm telling... No, no, not at all, Porter. I'm saying He's that on two different guys. Two different people. If a, one nigga might really be like, I make 10 M's. Mm -hmm. But he don't tell... He don't want to tell a woman that he make 10 M's right. before she agreed to be his girlfriend. I think, because, if he, right. I think if he really likes her, he's not sharing that information. If he just want to hit it, then he's he sharing share. the information. So, but but aren't you going to want to mm, know before so you make him your man how much he's... So this is what I'm saying. How much he's, we just said... When do we have that conversation? So if you asking those type of questions, Wally or any of the women, right. if because you want to kind of know where we gonna stand, you actually put any in the position where it's like, well, now she done asked me, yeah, right. because she wants to know what this life is gonna mm -hmm. be about. I didn't want to disclose this, but okay, you, I make ten M's a year. But I'm saying, if you if ask him though, that may make make him not want to be with you because he's like, why is she asking me? She's not even my girl yet. Now I don't even want to date her. But but this is mm -hmm. the thing. See, y'all missing my point when mm -hmm. it comes to not being a girl yet. Mm -hmm. When we working <laughs> towards She's a, a yes. relationship, <laughs> when we working towards like we know we're going to be in a relationship. Yeah. We're just developing and working onto something because for me, I've jumped in relationships. Mm -hmm. So this is my first time really dating somebody mm -hmm. without like a commitment like we have a commitment like we're not going to be intimate with anybody mm -hmm. else but we're not in a relationship so this is my first time doing this mm -hmm. but i like it because i'm getting to know this person right. i'm really like diving in because at the end of the day if we come to that we, we already have a mark we're like okay in august we're gonna mm -hmm. figure out what we're gonna do and this is something we're gonna move forward with if we're not but at least we're not leaving each other with bad blood if i say next month you know what I don't want to, you know, I don't want to move forward with this relationship or, you know, move into a relationship with you. At least we cool because we already know that one of us either going to, we're either going to do it or we're not going to do What's it. What's the biggest difference between you guys being in a relationship and you guys not dating? I think the biggest, I think the biggest difference, number one, is that we're not in a, we're not living together. Number one. Number two, I feel like. Hold on. So you think as soon as you get in a relationship with somebody, you should live in a house with them? I think we definitely need to move in together. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's like, just, but that's just me. That's just me. Now that I can, I can see like, that. Okay, to, I can, to, that's me, just me. to me, it's like the same thing that I brought up before. I get what she's saying because it's the same thing that I brought up before about a friend of mine who said, we getting right to the rip with shit. If you ready and you telling me, like, I'm letting you know I'm ready. This is my situation. Mm -hmm. I would want that. I like you. Mm -hmm. I'm weak. Whatever. And if another person feels like that, I mean, don't get me wrong. That ain't really like something that I've done. Mm -hmm. Like, just jumping right into shit like that. Yeah. But I can understand it. I can understand how, like... Because at the end of the day, guess, we talked like, about this we before. Playing, we're what, like, what are we doing here? We're like, a lot of times people wait. You know, yeah. we talk about this before where a lot of times, you know, you got God, you because we dogs, you know how we do. Yeah. We, we, if I really want that pussy, I'll play games with but, a year, but that's two, two years with you. That's two leaps in one to me. Yeah, have For you me, ever heard that people change when you move in with them? Like, what if they're a completely different person? Y'all talking like how you guys are talking mm -hmm. now. Then y'all move in and you're like, oh, well, we set all these goals for but, us. Yeah. But at least in Wild... She's dating, though. She's but, but, dating. But, but at least... But in, 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 in Wild... This actually works out good with That's, Wally's curious, theory yeah. because what she's doing by... She's jumping right into that part instead of wasting the time of... I'm boyfriend, girl, girlfriend with you for six months a year. Then we moved in and I found out that yeah. you was hard to live with. Oh, y'all might. Right guess what? Oh, and then my, what happens guess when you what? guys sometimes, break up? Dev, sometimes that process takes five years. Yeah. yeah. But I do like what, what she's saying too is in that six months, a year, that it was like, we're boyfriend, girlfriend official. Mm -hmm. We don't live together. But then you start seeing the kinks. We not finding out where we going to live, arguing over who dog this is, the, the, all the shit that comes with the we live in the same house mm -hmm. furniture. Because for me personally, that would be a that would be two leaps at once. One, I made her my girl and then instantly we lived in the same house. Right. It almost feel like if we doing all that, would we just get married on well, the first I mean, fucking right, right, right. day? That's, that's the thing is. That's though, mm. that's what I'm moving towards. Mm. I'm 33 the fuck years old. Mm. Yeah. I'm not playing these games. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? We dating, we gonna move in, we working towards marriage. Mm. So you got, it's all about having communication mm. and I think that's where we fuck Showing up. Showing you gonna get a wrinkle. Which stages? Huh? Showing you gonna get a wrinkle. What? <laughs> I thought he said, <laughs> he said when you get old, you're going to get a ring your I'm first wrinkle. I'm not in the back. I, I 
thought you said like wrinkle. No, no, no. I was like, oh, I'm just saying, like, we gotta have, like, yo, we gotta have conversations. And Deb, that's why people mm. get in those situations where yeah. it's like, you know, you got that nigga that's telling you, yeah, I got, I make 10, mi- 10 million. She's like, oh, yeah. And she's like, oh, okay. So she's dealing with him. And then next thing you know, he whipping her ass. It's just like, you know, our next thing you know, he's telling five other girls that, that he's he making, making 10, 10 million. million. <laughs> and it's like, come on, like, we gotta. Well, that's the other part. If you say, yeah, because I know already this going to be a relationship, how do you know? People, we don't know. Yeah, I mean, and, yeah. like, we, we, honestly, we don't know. That's what the dating that and talk, change, yeah. that's what the dating and talking stage is for. Yeah. So that's why, that's why this is a question that I haven't really seen nobody ask or whatever. And we definitely want the people in the comments to tell us when, whether it's a certain uh, amount of dates. Mm -hmm. whether it's a certain amount of months. Mm -hmm. When do you have those discussions of this is the exact income that I have coming in or out cuz it's crazy cuz like with me I've been with my That's girl I've like, been what with, would you I've been with my girl for so many years, mm-hmm. right? And all she know is things get handled. Right. It wasn't until a fucking few months ago that I gave her a breakdown of the actual finances, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Before that point, I didn't say, this is how much this cost, and this is how much mm-hmm. I'm paying for this, and I have this business, and so, right. I didn't do that, you right. know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about, we already in a situation for five plus yeah. years, because yeah. at the end of the day, I just looked at it like, everything is paid for, mm-hmm. ain't it? Everything is taken care of, mm-hmm. so it wasn't a thing where I was breaking down this is the dollar amount yeah. right, on this, that, and the third. You I know what I'm saying? I think certain people, too, that are into, like, you know, because I didn't ask him necessarily. It was just a conversation. We were talking about, like, what it would look like. You know, we live together, what, what that would look like. And then that's when that conversation happened. But, like, directly asking somebody, that's different. I had a chick ask me on a first date, straight up, because I took a L for a homie. We ran yeah, into a, the worst. Listen, I, we was in the mall back in the day. We seen one of the baddest chicks we ever saw in our life. We both loved her instantly. You feel what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, that's what it was on. He hollered at her, bagged her. You know what I'm saying? And then he begged me to go out to eat with the friend because mm-hmm. she had a friend with her. And I was like, I don't like her. You know what I mean? But homie code. We go and roll. Yep. We go on the date. The John is so rude the whole date. It just I couldn't stand her. And it wasn't just because I didn't fuck with her mm-hmm. look. It was I could deal with it and play it off. Right. But she's asking me those type of questions like, so how much you make a year? Oh my goodness. A, like she was on that type of time. Like, bitch, I'm re- I ain't really here for you. I was gonna super, say, I'm not right. even here for you. I'm here for him. Yeah. Super. But you super, could use that to your advantage because they're friends. You could what be you like, doing? I make Because if you wanted, if you really wanted the other girl, you know girls talk. Monica no, but, so but no, but this is the crazy Monica part. No, no, nah, but my, but my man, but my man. Oh, they were, they were already my saying man, so. My, my man had the oh, other one. He called this. My okay. man, my, he, he had the other one. That was Dibs. He was rocking <laughs> when he was rocking. But it's crazy because, like a month later, I ran into that John, that the one. The one. She, the one. The one. The one. The one. She started one. hollering, talking to me, and wanted to fuck with me. And I couldn't because my peoples, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he didn't even, be- he didn't, even- all he did was eat with her that night. She so what fuck- do you mean you could she-, she fucked with me more. He just was, he didn't like that. He really wanted the joint. He was kind of stuck on the joint. But, niggas, th- but when you ran into her, and they weren't talking she anymore? With no. your no. So you When you ran into so- her again, they weren't talking anymore. No. And you, you still didn't still- 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 she still- fucked with your vibe. Still- but you, still- but you and your homie don't believe in like, one of us should pop. No, 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 no. I would have hoped that's what he thought, but nah, he was like, nah, I don't know. See, that's why, listen, that was a long no, story. Hold on, hold on. Guys, guys. That's we, selfish. We, we can't be suckers. Yeah. We can't be suckers. <laughs> we can't be suckers. <laughs> if she more into the homie. Yeah, yeah, leave it up to the girl. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, he was trying to. He no, was no, trying no, to spin the block on it. No, 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 no. It's really okay. <laughs> she because, was trying to spin the block on it. Guess what? She goes away and gets popped by strangers. By strangers. At least the homie could have popped and could have shared it. You know, like, yeah, nigga, yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I got a question, though. Just like, yeah, I think it's, it's still along the same lines. Mm-hmm. But Wally, would you date somebody that 
like how you're dating the guy now mm -hmm. what if he didn't want a relationship right now like would you be able to date someone that doesn't want a relationship right no. now but could in the what that will in the future no mm. Mm. because Jesus. there's too many niggas waited in line next no uh. Mm. Okay. I'm just saying that's I was just curious. I'm 33. Oh, I'm 33 years old. Like, no, but I let's can't... say he doesn't want a relationship right now, but you guys gave, you gave a, a mark okay. in August. Yeah, I, well, technically, I gave him to December. Okay. Mm. To figure it out. Mm. I told him, I was like, listen, I'm giving you I'm giving you a year of my time because let me tell you something, Monica. My time yeah. cost. Mm -hmm. it's, the, my time is more valuable than any material, dollar, anything. Let me ask you, how would you feel if that time come and he like, all right, well, time's up. It was fun. <laughs> was, yeah. I was like, right, well, but I already had in my mind it was just to that mark, so I can't even be mad at it because I gave you a. Date. You wouldn't feel like it was a breakup. No, I wouldn't feel like it was. I, I mean, would yes, be, I would, I would be on, devastated. I would, I would feel away because the love that I have for right. him. Right. But in my mind, I would have to like prepare yourself, prepare myself yeah. to so, know that he's gonna be like, and I had to move forward. So when the I deadline mean, comes, you're gonna feel like you were broken up with. You don't sleep with anybody else, and you don't talk listen, to anybody else. You, Is that not a relationship? She can talk to Thank someone you. else. I can't. I can't go on dates with she other people. Can. I can't. She, they're uh, just exclusively fucking. They're just exclusively fucking. Uh, I mean, don't get it. Don't get it. Don't it's get one of those. Don't get it fucked up. I believe that yes, two people would definitely still because you it's feelings. Everything mm -hmm. done grew, no, right? Yeah, sure. sure. But at the end of the day, if we know that kind of like we can't see the ending to this, we can't we we it's, we can't see it, and we more or less kind of like see it going nowhere, nowhere. or mm -hmm. no no goal with it. It's like. I understand it. I, I, I'm on the same type time. You know what I don't like I'm, about that that situation, though? The entitlement of it. Because you guys are exclusively fucking and you're dating, I would feel a sense of entitlement, and then they could always just pull the, we're not in a relationship. Yo, no, I feel, I, I honestly, feel that. I honestly feel what but you're But we're not in a relationship. So me, this is the craziest <laughs> part. This is the craziest part, how I am. From the rip. If I fuck with a June, I kind of let it be known kind of early. Like, I'm, you... You I'm trying girl? to make you my girl right now. Yeah. Like, let's get right to it right now. Right now. I don't want <laughs> no, stingy. I don't want no look, violation, look no you room. Can tell listen, by his baby. listen, <laughs> listen, no, listen, no auditions with other niggas because it does. That's real though. No, no, the, the reason, audition. because, because that's what you going on a date yeah. with yeah. another person. Because fact. the truth is, there's a lot of dynamic human beings in the world. Mm -hmm. Not just you, nigga. Be Word sure up. of this. You Word are up. not the only one. Word and up. when a, you open that up, that floor to keep, uh, it's like a job search. Mm -hmm. You want to get the job, sign a contract. Yep. You don't want them keep looking at other motherfuckers, that, uh, resumes and shit like that. But there is benefits to what to she's be honest, doing because it's going to make them work harder to get the prize. To be while honest, the prize. Listen. To and be, it'll also scare other people away. Hold on, hold on. How does, hold, wait, 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 wait. How does it make you work harder for the prize if you already get the pussy? I was talking about a situation where why wasn't giving me <laughs> so, 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 no, no, no. So if you already... Like, how you say the park was closed? Oh, but no. you just said that... Like, hold on. No. One plus one is not equal four. Hold oh, on, no, hold on. No, no. no. The, what no. she said is the park is closed because only one person had the ticket. Yes. Listen, yes. I like what Dev but said. But they don't have a... Go ahead. No, you are, <laughs> no, they don't have I a year-long contract wanna, just to August. I, just want, I don't like think that. Wally could just cut the dick off just like that, though. That's kind of <laughs> <lit, isn't it? laughs> and I don't want to be masturbating all the time. That's kind of So, me. nigga, no, I actually got it's, it's an extendo on my contract. <laughs> right. Damn, yeah. I might want to circle back to Damn. Yeah, you I might. Know. Oof, no, that's yeah. a good deal for a nigga because if you you've been, text, like, we gotta have a conversation when I get home. Yeah. <laughs> can you, uh, oh, can we extend the talking period? Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's can, real. can we just run it back one more time? And listen, one more time, listen, one more so, time so, ends up three years I was gonna say, when Monica mm, said mm. it makes them work harder, though, I think she was talking about the guys who she's not sleeping with. It makes them work harder. Nah, because, they, do, they do be going yeah. 100 nah, because this, they're not. But, this but even him, but even him, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, he know. Mm -hmm. He be like, nah, niggas is in line for him. Be, you know, but I think, and I know for him why he's, or I know for both of us why we're doing it the mm -hmm. way we're doing it because mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, we've been in situations where we're like, we get in, we jump straight into those mm -hmm. relationships and look, that's real. them shits yeah. don't last. Yeah, and that's I why like, this is real. I spent three years of my life, with, yeah. three years of my life with my ex, and it was like, why did I do that? Like, Dad, I think it just wasn't worth listen, it. Listen, Dad said something so important, right, and so major. It's so many dynamic people in this world, mm -hmm. right? And they dynamic in different departments, mm -hmm. right? So that's what makes it crazy. 
It's, it's a variety of what people can do, what people are special at. So my whole shit is just like, that's why loyalty reigns so supreme, right? The real happy people. Let's talk about the real happy people, right? And even, even right now, we're in a bad time for, ha- for, uh, for people in pursuit of happiness, I believe. We're, we're in the past couple of years we've been in and just where we've hit at a new millennium, I believe we're in the worst time for people pursuing happiness when it comes to like relationships and commitments and all that type shit. But again, that's why loyalty reigns so supreme. Because if you can take one person and pick one person out of billions and say, I'm riding this wave and I'm going to build on... <laughs> no, it's all love. Well, no, no, it's good. Good. I'm, I'm going to build on yeah. happiness. Yeah. I'm going to build on everything mm-hmm. I need to build on with this one person, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of people in, in the world we live in, listen, it's just so much of everything. Even us, like Dev said, there's so many dynamic people. So we get caught up in that shit as humans, human nature. But to be, no, 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 you laughing, nigga. Lie. You laughing, you I young ass you better learn because they, they want your young ass in the chat. <laughs> they want your young ass in the chat. <laughs> so you better fucking get to learn this. I'm listening. Because listen, we're going we go, we go to dive in for your young ass. So you better learn this shit while we here. All right, Grandpa, can I get to the point. Can I say something? Head. We treat Puerto Rich like a preacher. We give him the drink. And we tap him down. And they treat and they treat all these preachers. All and they, these preachers. And, and they treat me like a senior citizen, <laughs> which I'm fine with. Pop Pop Porter, <laughs> Grandpa Porter, right? Even though like my other Jones called me Big Poppy Porter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, but, yo, before yeah. the show, before the show, he he tried to have Wally call him what? What was it? That's because that's I just fuck with her, though. No, but what was it? He I told to her to call, call me Big Papa Poppy. Porter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big Papa nah, Porter. like. doing that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's because I just like to fuck with her. He liked she, the bed off me all the fucking yeah. time. I she was trying to be all serious when I first got here today. So it was like a real, like, all these serious. But I'm like, nigga, She's shake just the fuck distracted. up. distracted. Like, <laughs> shake up, nigga. Have some of this Ciroc, I haven't had none. Shout out to Diddy. That's what it is. Diddy, Diddy, listen. Somebody reach out to Diddy and tell Diddy, tell the whole revolt, we've been drinking this heavy, like, and we want to know what's up, man. How can we come together and make it make sense? You see, we could wipe all this shit out back here. Somebody holler at us. Now, hold on real quick before like, we move on go. to the next to the next t- subject that actually kind of relates to this. It's like sometimes mm. we have subjects lined up and the conversation actually just flows really good. Mm. But obviously, if a person goes on a date with Wally... Water, Water Kingdom, Wally Water Kingdom. If they're wa- they watch the Wally, show, Wally they, Wonka's listen, ch- chocolate factory. Listen, they watch. They watch the show. <laughs> they're trying to go. They, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 they're talking and auditioning and ain't know that mm-hmm. you got exclusive coochie for a certain person. Not coochie. You, you know, <laughs> you got exclusive coochie for a certain person while they, you know, going out to the movie theater or something like that. Mm-hmm. What, I'm telling you that it creates a bad foundation. Somehow, even when niggas accept it in the beginning, once the relationship starts, some starts popping in their head that all them first magical dates, you was going... And getting piped out by whatever Well, that's because they didn't have the uh, what? The what? They didn't have the what, Wally? They didn't have the ticket. They didn't have the fucking conversation. Oh. What? They didn't I don't have know. the golden ticket. All I ticket. know is somebody's, uh, your, your microphone started buzzing electro or some Me? shit like that. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, let's let's get into this because we just, just talked about something. We talked about finances, mm-hmm. when you should bring up those finances. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then obviously those things will come with uh, kind of like conditions because if the person told you, Yo, I make 20 bands a year. A lot of women is going to be like, well, I can't deal with him. He doesn't have enough income. I like him a lot, but that's just too low or whatever. Mm -hmm. So the actual question is, do y'all have unconditional love for people? Do y'all have unconditional love for people? Mm -hmm. I've had unconditional love for people. Same. A certain person. What? To the point that like I disregarded a lot. Same. Mm. And I was just like, whew. I look back at it now and I was like, damn, that that was wild. Mm. That was wild. But I think at some point you kind of get a little wake up call. Not only with yourself, but, you know, people around you will kind of wake you up. But yeah, it was it was super unconditional. Mm. I do. I do. 
but it can change. Then that's not good. Then, then, then I feel like that's not on Then I don't then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Well, then Thank I you. don't then. Yeah, yeah. Well, only now? people, only people I got unconditional love for, and to be My honest, kids. I'm gonna be honest, right? It's the raw me. I, I believe that I have unconditional love for, your for kids. my children, for your kids, mm -hmm. for my mother, right? But at the end of the day, I don't. Yo, and the only reason, and the only hey, reason, yo. no, it's not fucked up. Hold kids. on, wait, 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 wait. I just want to say before he even explains, I agree. Continue. I don't, right? It's wild. Because no, it's not wild. It's not. Go ahead. <laughs> it is wild. No, because it's life not. Is full of it's no, the simple ahead. fact. It's the simple fact that if I say I do, you can do whatever the fuck you want to me, to my life, mm. to my loyalty to you, mm -hmm. Every, my kindness. Mm -hmm. You can run it through the ground and drag it mm -hmm. because you know that I've stated that I, have, I will never go nowhere on you, nigga. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I do not have unconditional love for nobody. Yo, that's real. Yo, and and this is yo, this is why this is such okay, an interesting question. Like, no, no, we I can't change, understand. But uh, it's like it's not mm -hmm. like because remember what I just said was like mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. I can't do that no more based off of circumstances because okay. because I did. That's why I don't, I don't now. anymore. Mm -hmm. Listen, that's if my if, mm -hmm. if my children mm -hmm. wanted to go astray from what everything I've tried to, to embed in them and mm -hmm. everything I've tried to teach to them and they watch me. They watching me now, living a positive lifestyle, mm -hmm. getting up every morning working for mine. I'm not stealing, I'm not robbing, I'm not cheating, I'm not doing anything negative, mm -hmm. right? And if I teach all this, and you decide to choose what one of your homies is teaching you, or what somebody else is telling you to do, whoever, and you go astray from what I'm teaching you, I have two choices, and we've talked about this before. A lot of times people be in the fire, right? Because you go the wrong direction. A nigga, could, a nigga could be actually not in the fire and come back and reach his hand for you. You have to want to come out the fire or else you're risky at pulling the nigga in the fire with you. Yeah. Uh -huh. That too. Yeah, I wasn't even talking about that, but mm -hmm. yeah. Is nah. that, I mean, if, but think about it. If you, if, if you have unconditional love for someone... Mm -hmm. And this unconditional love causes you to be loyal to certain things and in certain ways to mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And it's actually negative shit that you have to be loyal to. Mm -hmm. You're being dragged in the fire. Yeah, but there is people that could say, I love him to death. I have unconditional love for him, but I got to stay away from him. I'm talking about I, can, I do have conditional love for everybody. I don't give a fuck, and this is just me. I understand how other people are, and I don't care if it's a child, brother, mother. I'm the type of person, the way I was even raised, you know what I'm saying, was based off of a person. I don't have like a closer bond to my brother be just because he's my brother. Mm -hmm. I choose the people in my life. <clears throat> if I meet a stranger and that person's you know, personality um, honor, all of that shit is of a certain caliber, mm -hmm. and I click with them, I'm going to jump up for them faster than I'm going to jump up for my own brother if my brother doesn't have those same qualities. My I'm not a person that believes in, like, when people say shit like, blood is thicker than water, and <laughs> right, I know, right, right. like, of course there's deeper meanings to yeah, that, yeah. but the basic meaning of that where they like, yo, that's your cousin, you need to, I don't give a fuck. Because I look at that as that's just biology. Mm -hmm. Everybody got to get on the planet somehow. So some of us got to be related. That's Growing up, my parents, they always used to say to me, there's nothing you can ever do that'll stop me from loving you. And it's a lie. And I've learned it now. Oh, I see, mean, it was all, it was all conditional. Hey, and it was all to get me to, like, tell the truth. Like, you, what you did couldn't be as bad as what I did. So, like, there's nothing you could ever do that'll make me stop loving you. Yes, there was. The only reason, listen. That's crazy that you said that, though, because it's like, when people say that, I feel like you people we got to be mindful of what we're saying, right? Right, for sure. And I think, for sure. And I think um, like you said, Dad, like, you can, you you pick and choose who you want in your life, yeah. right? And I think now I can, I'm in that position. But I feel like if you would have caught me five years ago, 
I, I wasn't thinking like yeah. that. Mm. I had unconditional love for everybody. Yeah. Mm. And then that's when shit started to tarnish. And it's like, damn. But then the fucked up, the caveat to it is that there's people out here that really deserve that unconditional mm-hmm. love. Mm-hmm. And we taking, we kind of stripping them from that because of what these other people... Because they took advantage so, uh, wanna, and you wanna, lost yourself. I want to fix... No, I don't believe there's people that that deserve that unconditional love. No, they deserve love. Mm-hmm. I don't believe anybody deserves unconditional love. Why? That's my because if it's always I don't conditional. Think it's even possible. If you're hold on, listen. If you are a scumbag, right? If you just an evil rapist ass nigga, mm-hmm. right? I don't love you. Right. This is just what it is. I don't give a fuck. What happens is I believe people love the idea they got of somebody. They kid ain't shit. They a swindler, <laughs> no, they a swindler, grimy, sociopath motherfucker, mm-hmm. but they got this idea, they got, and I just remember when he was a sweet little boy, no, yeah. you, no, no, he's no, a no, when he was a little boy, he just didn't have the power yeah. to do any of the grimy shit that he wanted to do, so you put in your brain, and like I said, this is just my opinion, mm-hmm. um, uh, I understand it though, so, so my mom, I understand so, so, so I'm gonna keep it real. My mom that raised me, I believe she has unconditional love for me, right? right? Where if I went and did some horrible shit, she just going to be like, What if you stabbed that's her? My, that's my baby. What that's if you my stabbed ba- her? I still think she would have that thought like, that's my baby. And you cut off her arm. But I don't agree with her. What mm-hmm. I'm saying is I don't agree yeah. with her. I'll- I don't have that for people. If yeah. you my family, if you my homie, if you my homie, I've had homies that robbed me. Yeah. Did fucked up shit. I did love these people. And now it's like, I can't be like, you know what I mean? Bro did me dirty. I still love him. It's like, dog, I don't love you at all. There's my always nigga. something, the there's the always only, something listen, that someone can do to you to the, make you stop from the loving them. Yeah. And that's a condition. Reason, yeah. The only reason in the beginning of this that I was going to say, kind of like, yes, I can have unconditional love for people. Is because I did think about it, and Dev knew. Dev mentioned my kids from mm-hmm. the rip, right? Because that's who I'm thinking about from the rip, right? And I'm thinking like, the only reason I was going to say yes is because I do feel that some people we probably will almost damn near nine times out of ten love forever, but I may have to love you from afar. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is another thing. Mm-hmm. It's, that's it, a different it, thing. It, yeah, it, it exists. It's another thing. Like, I'm not fucking with you. I'm not nowhere near you. Yeah, it's still in my heart. You mm-hmm. my brother. Mm-hmm. You my son. You my whatever. Like, so you'll always be here. But because you out there murdering people, because you out there, and I'm just giving scenarios. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But because you out there murdering people, because you think it's cool to, because you, because you, because you may be cool with being like almost homeless and doing nothing and just cool with, being addicted to drugs all your or, life. Or, or cool with being evil, because some of these motherfuckers you got unconditional love for would kill you if they know you had the bag in your crib mm-hmm. somewhere. Mm-hmm. And and that's true. That's true. In some scenarios, it's, that's true. That could be human, a case. It's in human nature though. Like we can't even we can't even figure out who's like that. Because the people that mm-hmm. you think that ain't like that might be but like so, that. But some people reveal to you that they're like that based off of shit they do with your other homies or other family members. Like, yo, you stole that from cousin or you did that from so-and-so. Hold on, dog. It's something wrong. It's something rotten yeah. in you yeah. that I can't fuck with. And for me, I don't have that, um, that unconditional love. And I've tried also to love people from afar, right? Mm-hmm. And then they'll keep doing shit that makes it like, yo, I tried to even love you from afar and I hold know. on to the old memory yep. of you. That person is dead. I don't fuck with it's you. Almost like well, a- it, get, it gets to a point where you can almost get held responsible for the karma. Like if a person is out there yeah. smoking motherfuckers, right? And you got unconditional love and you like, fuck it. This is my day one. There's no way I could turn on them. Guess what? You might be there when the karma and comes. And it's almost a weakness to love someone unconditionally <laughs> because like, you can't. It's a real thing. Can't it's do 100% anything. It's a weakness. blindness. You know what yeah. it is too? Also, like sometimes you are responsible of why they ended up the yeah. way they did. Oh, because you're, because you're 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 an enabler. enabler. Yep. Mm, they say because that. you still got love for them and you not giving them that yep, tough love. That tough yeah. love. Mm. You are responsible Deep. for how they are. That's the crazy part, Deep. Grandma. Mm. Deep <laughs> nah, but that, no, that, but that, no, but that, we but that, that's real shit. That's real shit. So yeah, so Dev, 
he don't got that unconditional love for nobody. I don't got it no more just because of that conversation. Yeah, it's, it's always a condition. I do. I love good people. I, I could love a good person that fucks up yeah. a bunch of times because yeah. some people do make a lot of mistakes, mistakes. and shit yeah. like that. But I've come across some people that was just evil and an evil person can be your kid. Your evil person could be your brother or evil person could be your parent. The evil person could be any person. And and I could tell you straight up that my I could be like, oh, no, I don't love that person. Mm -hmm. Straight up, straight I up mean, and listen, down. Fuck all that. The reason why I said what I said when I really thought about it, like just, you know, the whole question. I agree with Dev is like niggas to take advantage of that. So, no. Yeah. Right. So, no. Uh, like and again. Yes, to a certain extent, but I will love you from afar. I can still treat you like almost, we'll be almost like strangers because you're going left, I'm going right. And it just doesn't make sense. Listen, man, before we get out of here, I want to do a was hot, now is not while they grab the wheel. Can we get the wheel out and all of that? You know what I'm saying? I want to do another um was hot, now it's not. And y'all that watch the show already know we talk about something that was popping at one point and now it is not. Um, Waleska D, do you happen to have a uh, uh, was hot now it's not? You know what I'm saying? I think what was hot at one time was just, um, sorry, I'm talking away from mm. the mic. Um, was, on, to be honest, was, you know, back in the day, people used to hide all the negative things that used to happen in families and stuff mm. like that. Mm. I feel like it, it, it was hot to keep that private. Mm. And I feel like now... That ain't it no more. Niggas put it on Facebook. Niggas, not on fa on Instagram, on anything. They mm. put it in your family group chat. Mm. Remember when Grandpa did X, Y, and Z? Like, niggas is bringing things up yo, that you would have never thought. Yo, <laughs> Listen. I, I swear to God, I just had... Yo, shout out Listen. to Stan Cassidy, my brother. We just talked because our families um are almost like one family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They lived across the street and there's so many crazy... Family dynamic secrets mm -hmm. between the the Huffs, the Robinsons, the Troutmans, the, mm -hmm. the the Cassidys. You know what I'm saying? Um, that whole family, shit, nigga. That your your BM's family. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. We all grew up. Um, there. You know, my mom and all of them all grew up on Cherry Street. Okay, and it's a it's a super storyline to that. That's almost like fucking. It's like a soap opera. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of shit in group chats. And um, in Facebook, it's almost like the old people getting to a point of like not giving yeah, a fuck. Yeah, they and somebody, share the information. somebody name will get brought up in the joint and somebody will just say something yep. crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah, fuck him. He da -da -da -da. Whoa. I don't think I don't think they know. I don't think they know because it's happening in my family, too. Mm -hmm. I don't think they realizing what they saying. Like I have my mom got cousins that they don't know who their dad is. My mom know who their dad is. It's shit my like my that grandma, in my family. My grandma told her. But my mom's like, I can't be the one to share the information. Like, it's it's a lot of what we call in Spanish, bochinche. Mm -hmm. And you know, in Spanish, Bo they got another saying for cousins make dozens. <laughs> Los primos se prima. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's that number, the, the name again? <laughs> Bo 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 bochinche. We got bochinche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, <laughs> in our, in, 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 shout out, shout out in our Boricua, family, man. a Puerto Rich, you got a was hot now, it's not? Yeah, yeah, I got a was hot was hot. Let's now. see if he. Uh, I'm not, let's hope I get a new one. I ain't say this before. Because right, right, motherfuckers right. be he like. Oh, it's okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. My memory be crazy. Right. But. And maybe it was just hot to me. I don't know. But. Why we don't use the car lighters anymore? <laughs> oh, car lighters. Yo, remember, when, remember when car lighters turned red? Yeah, yeah. And you beaming put, red. And you put on a cigarette. Yeah, whatever you needed a light for. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need a little light for. Because mm -hmm. we know it probably wouldn't spark. It wouldn't spark everything up. But like cigarettes, weed, whatever you need a little joint. Whatever. The car lighters came in handy. We needed to make sure that like now niggas just only use them for chargers. Mm -hmm. Niggas actually get new cars and throw the lighter away. Yo. Or lose Wait, it. Wait, do they still come on? Are they, they new new cars? Cars? Absolutely. Like, my car got Where? 21. No, they come with a lid. They come with a top <laughs> now yeah, yo. that oh, just yo. closes them. Yo. A cover. Also, there's nothing in there that lights no the, more. The, Exactly. They took the car lighters. Oh, they took the car lighters oh, out. Wow. Oh. You just, wow. I feel stupid now. You they sure took the car lighters because they do come with caps. Yeah. And they just turned in them there. into like chargers. Yeah. yeah, it's that certain kind yeah. of charger with the, wow. with the metal on the side. Fuck all the car makers. <laughs> Coming from a smoker. Wow. 
<laughs> Yo. Nah, I'm playing. Yo, nah, bro, shit. my was hot now is not as regular fucking proms. Yo, mm. you oh got yo, you got a prom now is like a motherfucking wedding, yo. Yo. If you sending your kid off. It's they a not, party. They yeah. not fucking with a limo, like where the parents might have chipped in back in the day you need a and limo. all bought the limo. Each one of them want to drive in their own limo, uh, I mean, me own Lambo, mm -hmm. own Wraith, I own think, fucking... Listen, I think, I'm going to be honest. And don't get me wrong. I love her to death. <laughs> ultimate hustler. But we got we to gotta give some of this blame to country cooking. Yes, yeah, Saw. To Saw. Saw did it in Philly. Saw did it in Philly. She bringing camels and Dubai she to Philly. It up. She, she fucked it up. She bring in Dubai to Philly. You set the bar, Saw. So, so listen, Yo, it's, a, it's a compliment. Saw, but not only Saw, let's shout out the Tasties. Miss Tasties. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's my homie. That's Yo, my homie. What she did with shout her daughter. Shout out to Barb. Shout out to Barb. Barb had, I don't know how many cars mm. lined up just for, they only got in one car. Yo, it's they crazy. They only got in one car. Yeah. But there was, I guess the, the theme was, like, I guess they had many options to mm. pick. It was literally like five, six options. You had a Bentley, you had a Lamb. I mean, yeah. it was come on. No, no that's, the shit got that's, you got that's, ridiculous. That's big, man. that's big boss hog Barb over at Tasty's. That's family. Uh, Shout I out fuck, to them. Yeah, yeah. ultimate hustlers. Country they, cooking, listen, salt. you you hustle. People hustle to do amazing things for their people, man. So yeah. at the end of the day. We got to salute it. We know dad not doing that. Listen, man. I mean, I'm, I ain't going to have no choice. By the time <laughs> by the time it's time for Christian to go to his joint, I you already know. I you got a jet. You need what? a PJ. No, 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 no. Guess what? I came in my first video helicopter. What people Might have to have him land yeah. on top of the motherfucker. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know what people got to do? People got to actually like just make sure that they're living within their means and you're not living beyond your means. Stop watching what other people doing, Fact. right? And if you is watching what other people doing, yep. let it motivate you. Hello. Let it motivate you to go ahead Don't and be hating. get it right and be able to do the same things. You Excuse know I mean? me, guys. Don't do I got the wheel. Pocket. Let's go. You, you want me to spin it? Yeah. Can you what you got? Yeah. Can, you, can you spin the wheel? Can you spin the wheel? Hey, you been the freaky wheel? lately. Hello, lever outfit on. I know. For Puerto Rich, for the nasty girl, for Eliando, for everybody, even for uh 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 all, and for the other fucking viewers, man. Shout out to y'all. Make sure that y'all hit that. Listen, make sure y'all hit the thanks button. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Share the clip to your people. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh.